I'd like to show you a tool that Luminar provides for enhancing the skies. Now you already saw the ability to enhance the existing sky, but you can add to the existing sky or even replace it. This really comes in handy for things like real estate photography and travel photography. Let's take a look here at this New York skyline and I'll open up the image. What we're going to do is jump on into edit and we'll go over to the creative section where you'll see Sky AI and Augmented Sky. Augmented Sky lets you use a collection of built-in objects, or you could load your own PNG files or images that are white on black. And what it allows you to do is add objects to the sky. You can control the amount and color balance it to match and freely move it around. And notice how it automatically masked out the objects. So if I want to put some different clouds in there to change the day, I can layer these in. And there's a collection included to get you started. There's others available and you can also use your own. But as you see, it automatically handles the masking. So as we position this object, it knows where the horizon is. It knows everything else. If for some reason you need to, under the advanced settings, you are free to defocus that object if it's in the background flip it, as well as refine the edges with the mask refinement slider if needed. In this case, I'm gonna tone that down a little bit again, and you see how it cleans up that reflected surface on the building. I'm impressed that it knows the difference between the blue sky and the blue reflected on the surface of the building. Really pretty impressive there how it handles that. Well, that's the augmented sky option, and that works really well to enhance the sky that you have but maybe the sky that you have is really boring or doesn't match your needs. Well, you could replace it altogether. That's under Sky AI. And again, there's a collection of custom skies here. You can also load your own or even access a folder to permanently load them and they'll appear in this menu. Now we can do things like change the sky. And not only does it position the sky, but it matches the alignment of the horizon. So if I decide to relight the scene, notice how it picks up the color of the sky and transfers it to the scene. So if it's a sunset, it's picking up those warm tones throughout the image. If it's a bright blue sky, it's able to match that and it matches the lighting in the scene. You can use the sky global slider if you need to refine the edges to push in and under the advanced settings, you'll see a few other adjustments to clean up your edges, but in general, the edges are handled very intelligently. Even complex areas here like this, where there's partial transparency in the roof, it was able to detect. And if we go on over here, you'll see that we had a crane and it was able to detect that and clean it up. Now you can control that and use your close gaps feature if you need to, to refine that or adjust the overall strength there. So you see there, if I get more or less aggressive, what happens? But this can be useful if you need to refine. Let's go ahead and reset, and we'll just zoom back out, and I'm gonna show you how I can load my own sky. So I'll choose Load Custom Sky Image. Now I can navigate to any JPEG or TIFF that I have, and just select it. And it loads it in, putting it into the scene. We can adjust the relighting amount, and even smoothly blend the horizon for a gentle transition. You can also shift that if the horizon wasn't correct, and you'll notice how it scales and matches the horizon. Where this gets impressive though, is when you synchronize this across different images. Adjustments, sync. You'll notice in each case, it doesn't just use the exact same sky. For example, on the tighter shot here, it was able to adjust it and reposition it to better fit. And you'll see there how it pulled it in. Remember, if need be, you can go in and play with the sky global slider. This will control how aggressive it is. So in the case here of the mirrored buildings, you have to decide if you wanted to push through a little bit to look like a reflection or back it off. But in this case, I'll just take that a little lower with a higher relight and you can see what a great job it did of blending that into the scene. You can go ahead and finesse that there with those two sliders or even flip it to take it from the other direction. But all in all, a very impressive tool. So 
Feel free to experiment with that, but you'll see that this gives you the ability to change the background in the sky and it can recognize a wide range of subjects.